talked about the path, but let's talk about what this means to you and the value of a microsecond as well as the dual avenues that Innova Wireless Networks provide access to exclusive alpha. So here's where I want to spend a little bit of time on that phraseology. So I don't have to explain alpha, but why is it exclusive? It's exclusive because as you'll see, the only way to get it to, to participate potentially participate in this alpha is to use an ANOVA network. And the reason that it's access is because once I get you there, it's up to you. So, you know, that's, uh, that's an important piece of it. Uh, next. So what we've done is we created a trade-to-trade -trade response and um, plotted it out. This is uh, data from the 20th of February uh, this year, very high volume. And we used uh, the benchmark equity of, uh, or we used the benchmark product of the SPY because we think it's indicative of the full equity market. Um, and what we did is we created a screening algorithm that identified NASDAQ SPY price increases and then correlated that to BATS BCX for activity. Now, activity both on price increasing and price decreasing. But all this is trade data. Um, and it's important to note that this is trade data that's time stamped at the match. Uh, and, and we'll get to why that's important in a second here. Um, so, but the point is, is that th this array represents the average change in price per share of SPY at BAPS during each microsecond. And you know, somewhat interesting is the average change per microsecond are generally about, generally about one one thousandth of a penny. But that's not even the most interesting part on, on, on this graph to me. Um, we've got the SPY trade occurring at the NASDAQ, so that's time zero. You've got the speed of light response here at one wave of about 87 microseconds. You've got a NOVA very close behind at about 93 microseconds. And then you've got fiber sitting at 150. But this green alpha, how are there possibly trades happening on the BZX when um, before the speed of light response. That's, that's you guys in this room. Kudos to you. That's predictive alpha. That's watching the order book and making trades before something has happened and then ultimately getting filled on that. So again, that's another important factor because on the next slide, in order to keep our calculations correct, we have taken out the baseline predictive alpha. I can't, that's not me generating that for you, that's you generating it for you. So we subtracted this in the calculations going forward. And but it's a very small amount, but look, we're trying to be as accurate as possible here. It's, it's five one thousandths of a cent per microsecond per share traded. So we take that out. Um, and so ultimately this resulting chart depicts the value decay as a function of time from the true speed of light. So, once you remove that, you've got the Innova network at 186 microseconds, you've got a second place wireless network at 190, and you have a third place wireless network at 195. So you've got 95, 93, and 87% of access to trading opportunities. Now fiber, which is an interesting point here, is hovering around 10%. If you're, if you're accessing this marketplace, you have 10, access to 10% of the trading opportunities. So we took these numbers, 95, 93, 87, and, con and converted that into the ANOVA value ratio. ratio. And so at 95% opportunity uptime, and, or excuse me, 95% uh, opportunity access and 100% uptime, the value of ANOVA service has 8.5% more latency dependent alpha opportunities than our nearest competitor, and 17% more than the third place network. So this is sort of an, an answer to why ANOVA. But here's the point that I want to make in terms of we have to pay attention to the fact that this, these timestamps are at the match and not the gateway. Because there is a stochastic load dependent delay at the NASDAQ between when a trade matches and when it prints. And in order to be conservative, we've actually taken that out. We've, we've zeroed it out. So in essence, these numbers, we believe, are going to be quite larger 
uh, quite, a, quite a bit larger. Um, but again, we're going to err on being conservative, and so we have taken out the stochastic delay. And on a busy day, this was a very busy day, you're going to have quite a bit of delay. So here's where we really start getting into the good stuff. This is access to exclusive alpha. We took the same tick data and we plotted it out all the way out to a, a, a thousand microseconds. And what I want to explain here is this bottom part is the predictive alpha. We've taken that out again in this uh, calculation. The top part is everything that executes after fiber. So we really don't, we're not concerned about that. What we're concerned about here of what is what, what executes between the region of the blue line and the red line. So that is what I am calling latency dependent trading opportunities. Some examples are latency arbitrage, high frequency market making, and um, sort of predictive price movements. Um, so short term, uh, short term evaluation of predictive price movements. So basically, um, this amount comes to 26%. So 26% of the total trading opportunities are latency dependent. And so I'm calling that latency dependent alpha. We then went and looked at the virtual IPO because we wanted to get an earnings per share. And let's just assume for a minute that they're representative because there's not a lot of data uh, on this subject. But their IPO shows an earnings of $0.0025 per share traded. You then have the, uh, enough numbers to compute the exclusive alpha that Innovus Networks give you when they are the only ones up. Because as we already talked about, the other networks are going to go down 5% of the time. So when ours is the only one up, what does that do for you? Well, we have U.S. equities trading at about $6 billion. We've got $6 billion times 0.25, which is the return. That comes to $15 million a day. But $15 million a day, we multiplied that by 0.75. Why? Why do we take that 25% uh, haircut? Because NYSE uh, has about 25% of the volume uh, of this $6 billion number. So we figured NASDAQ and BATS has the remaining 75%. And we're talking about exchange traded volume, by the way. So $6 billion times uh, the return times the amount you can earn on a daily basis times the volume uh, reconciled for these two exchanges comes to $2.8 billion a year of what I'll call latency dependent equity profit. You take that number, you times it by the amount of time that we are up times the amount, the fraction of the opportunities that are latency dependent, and you get $36.4 million of alpha that you have access to by using an ANOVA network. We think that this is a very compelling number. So, uh, next slide, please. Scott, we're going to skip this because I'm, I'm, I'm running late here. So, let's go to the next one and we'll see how we, how we do. So, oh, actually, you know what? That's, that's five minutes. So, we can go back to the next one uh, or the prior one. I, I'll, I'll, I'll run through it uh, very quickly. So, the first one was here's the alpha when we have high availability. This one is, here's the alpha when we have the lowest latency because we're fortunate enough to have both on this path. Again, you're familiar with this chart, ANOVA, second place network, third place network. So when we're all up, we're, let's just assume for a moment, when all three of these networks are up, we're, we're splitting the opportunity. However, there's a time when ANOVA's getting the signal first that we have a, a, a uh, access to exclusive alpha. But then when the second network comes on here at 190 microseconds, then we split it with them. So what you have is at, 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 at the yellow line, all three of us are splitting it. At the green line, two of us are splitting it. And at, at between the green line and the blue line, ANOVA and the second place network are splitting it. Or it's all ANOVA. So basically the calculations are two microseconds of sole exclusive access plus two networks divided by two networks having access divided by two, plus three networks having access divided by three, which gives us an opportunity share. So access to alpha, 2.8 billion, 
times 95, which is the point when all, all the networks are up, <coughs> times our opportunity share, times the fraction of latency dependent op alpha opportunities available is $214 million of alpha that people can uh, have access to by using wireless networks in general, <coughs> and some of that being exclusive to ANOVA. So, I know you didn't ask, you did in your head, you know, uh, because I promised this, and we think that this is the most compelling slide. And, um, you know, we've, we've analyzed the tick data and we feel that there's, there's more refinement, refinement we, that we can do. And, and, you know, we've all heard the uh, one millisecond is worth a hundred million dollars to a trading firm. You know what, I've never seen that attributed to any author. I've never seen any math behind it. You know, frankly, I think it's made up. And, and, and so what we wanted to do is we wanted to create the, the first defensible value of a microsecond. And so you're gonna see a lot of numbers here that, we, that were uh, developed in the prior slides and, you know, we didn't start out trying to do this. What we started trying to do was to show how ANOVA could, get, uh, could provide exclusive uh, or access to exclusive alpha. But we ended up here, and so sometimes uh, that's a side benefit to these exercises. Um, and again, it's conservative because we haven't factored in the zero, the, the stochastic delay at NASDAQ. But that being said, the fraction of the benefit of an, a, a, an advantage of a wireless network to fiber is, is pretty simple. You take one microsecond, you divide that by 57 microseconds of advantage over wireless over fiber, and that's basically our network minus the fiber network. So that comes to 0 0.018. We can then combine that with our other figures from the prior slides in the trade trade to trade response. So, the latency dependent equity profit per year, 2.8 billion. The fraction of a, of a microsecond advantage, times 0.26, which again is the fraction of latency dependent opportunities in the marketplace. This leads to $13.1 million of value per microsecond per year. So, now this is obviously for the NASDAQ to BATS route. Different routes um, will have slightly different computations um, because you may have a different lat latency advantage um, and that will yield more access to exclusive at alpha. And if the number of shares traded goes up, that will also increase the value of, of, of a microsecond. And then, not that anyone in this room wants this to happen, but if, if, if less shares are traded, then the value of a microsecond goes down. And so, but the most compelling piece of this whole slide to me is that since we have a two microsecond one-way advantage over all of our competitors on the NASDAQ to BATS line, we're providing our clients $26.2 million of access to exclusive alpha. And so that's a part of, that's a component of the 214 million that we saw on the prior, uh, on, on the prior slide. But still, that's a nice number to participate in by just being a client of ours. One last thing that I'll say um, about that is, um, you know, we're, like, we're gonna continue to iterate the, the data. We're gonna, we, we wanna sort of empirically establish a value for the stochastic uh, delay at, at the NASDAQ. And then we further want to take and apply this value of a microsecond to all of our routes because, you know, like I said, it'll be slightly different, but it'll be an interesting exercise nonetheless. And so, you know, I'm, I'm out of time, but what's the summary? You know, you should use us, right? That's the summary. But the point is, is we hit all boxes. Availability, capacity, market data latency, and we give you access to $62 million of exclusive alpha on a single path. And so that number, I think, will be larger for on some of the longer networks where we have even more of a latency advantage. So um, that's the whole slide, that's the whole deck. Um, the next one is our contact page. 
And what's interesting about that is we, we do have a new brand new website launched specifically for this trade show. Go there, lots of good content. Our patents are up there, our routes are up there. You can, uh, the latencies are up there, you can see everything. So thanks for attending, I appreciate it.